Hey Forever Leads, it is just Maddie in this video. Um, I just took my hair out of a bun. I really don't want to talk about it. I really don't. So, if you can't tell by the title, today I am going to be doing a get ready with me. I thought it would be fun to do a little get ready with me because I haven't really gotten myself fully ready in a little bit. Like, quite a little bit. I'm gonna be kind of filming, getting ready today, doing some stuff around the house. I am not feeling too great today, so I'm gonna try to like kind of revitalize myself a little bit, try to start feeling a little bit better. Um, I just started my monthly. I'm hurting, I do have endometriosis, so it makes it very difficult and this month seems like it's gonna be harder than it usually is. So that's really great, super fun. We're gonna go get ready right now. Welcome to my bathroom. If you've watched my videos, me and Everly, um, we switched rooms, so I still have a beautiful rainbow shower curtain in here. And she also has a Jojo Siwa shower curtain that she wants in her room. She doesn't like the rainbow, she likes Jojo Siwa, so. Honestly, good for her though. Like, I love Jojo Siwa, don't get me wrong. I've got my iced coffee. I just flushed my toilet, so if you hear something, it's my toilet. I'm gonna start off by brushing my teeth and I'm going to whiten my teeth as well today. I haven't done it in quite a bit because my teeth were actually like getting clear on the bottoms from whitening them too much. So I took a little break. I'm going to flip my hair up and brush and whiten these bad boys, these yellow coffee stained bad boys. My hair is up and I look like a little boy now. I'm wearing my boyfriend's shirt that he left here. I really wiped her nose on it yesterday and I haven't changed out of it. She would just grab my shirt and just wipe her nose, so. Okay, I'm gonna floss my teeth. The only floss I have right now are Everly's little um, zoo animal flossers, so they won't fit. Uh-oh. I just realized why it wouldn't fit. I forgot I have a permanent retainer in my teeth. I just broke it. Oh my God. Oh, that is not good. We are off to a horrible start. Holy crap. Hey, luckily it didn't come fully off. I was like forcing the flosser and like wondering why the heck it's not going in my teeth. How did I forget that? Oh my God. Okay, it didn't fall off fully, but it doesn't feel right anymore. And it's making me talk kind of weird. Great, 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 great. I already broke the one on my top teeth. That's why these teeth are coming down again. So, oh my God, I'm going to cry. It hurts. That's great. And I had like a sealant over this tooth, like basically a fake tooth because it chipped and it's coming off too. So I guess I'm gonna have to go to the dentist. Don't even know if I have insurance anymore because I'm an adult now and I'm, I don't think I'm on my parents' insurance as an adult. And that's so great. I'm just gonna rip it out, to be honest, and try to get like an Invisalign sponsor or something. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Well, these whiteners are in. My retainer is almost out. My mental state is declining rapidly. I'm gonna take a shower because I just realized the top of my hair is greasy. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop in the shower and try not to cry. I was getting in the shower fully naked and I just had to squish a bug. See, if it was like a tiny little beetle bug, I'd be like, oh, okay, probably got it in from the balcony. But it was an earwig. Why did the, the world hate me? There was another freaking earwig in my bathroom. I don't even know how they're getting in. No idea. Today is just too much so far. I just started my period and I'm like super emotional and I've got a lot to do, but I don't want to do any of it. So I've just done nothing, which is literally making me even more stressed out. I guess I'm gonna like start getting ready. I'm gonna put on some makeup and fix my mop. I'm currently putting on some makeup. I put my hair up in a bun. I've been in this robe for like two hours now. I don't feel like getting dressed. I had already started doing my makeup before the clip started, but all I really did is put some concealer on under my eyes, down on this area of my face, and I covered up like a pimple and a red spot over here. I don't have any on like on my forehead or right here on my face. 
um, but I'm kind of like blending it out so it doesn't look crazy. And today's been kind of hard, if I'm being honest. I tend to overexert myself. I just expect way too much out of myself on a day-to-day -day basis. And I get so disappointed in myself when I don't work like crazy and get an unrealistic amount of things done. So today's been one of the days where it's been a little bit harder because I do have something on my schedule and I don't really do too great whenever I have something scheduled because I'll just kind of like sit around until the scheduled thing. And that's like an ADHD thing where if you have like a time where you have to do something, it's hard to do anything else until you're done with that thing. But it seems like today is one of those days where I'm just expecting too much out of myself and getting disciplined in myself that I'm not overworking and overexerting myself even though it's not healthy for me to do. I'm just like reminding myself that I'm only human and I can't hold myself to unrealistic standards. When I first started like doing my makeup, I was still pretty stressed out and I like, as I just kind of like focused on getting ready, doing my makeup, I just got really calm and I was just listening to music. I'm listening to um, Rex Orange County and I'm listening to the album Pony and I've, I've only really listened to the song um, Pluto Projector off of it and I love that song and that used to be like one of my I listen to this whenever I'm in a bad place and I just need something calm or whenever I'm calm and I want to listen to something calm. The album was on autoplay so I got to listen to some of the rest of it and I'd never heard it before because usually I'll just kind of like stick to one song from an artist and not really listen to the rest of their music and oh my gosh the song Every Way played. If you haven't listened to it yet, listen to it. It's so good. And it just reminded me so much of my boyfriend and like how I feel about him. It says, you've been amazing, saw me through my darkest stage and you've always forgave me. It says, I cry in front of you and it's very necessary. I will care about you in every way I can. And hearing that made my day a little bit better because it reminded me of my boyfriend and it just made me happy. And I just, like, sometimes just hearing a good song can completely change my mood. And doing makeup especially, because I really do believe, like, makeup is an art form. And I've been doing my makeup for a long time now. Like, I started doing makeup in elementary school. Now I'd wear makeup every single day from, like, fifth grade up until eighth grade. I wore makeup almost every single day to school. <laughs> so, like, I've always loved makeup. And I started, like, a little makeup YouTube channel when I was, like, 11 years old that we don't talk about. I kind of forget how calming it is to me and how it really is, like, an art form 
and it just it's like a really good coping skill that I forgot I really carried so I'm finishing up my makeup right now and then I'm going to do my hair and finish getting ready I did my makeup um I put on lipstick and proceeded to just wipe it off and I ended up getting mascara on my nose but that's okay that's okay I'm about to do my hair it's still a little bit wet from showering. I had it in a bun, so it did get like a little bit curly. I'm going to dry my hair and fix it. phone just attacked me so we've got my hair completely dry I like the only thing I don't like about using the blow dryer wands is that if you're trying to do like any textured style whatsoever like waves curls um it just straightens your hair like yes it looks great but it just makes it straight so it's hard to really restyle it sometimes but i know i do want to do like either curly or wavy hair so i'm about to bust out my um little waver wand or my curling iron and do this this is all dead if i chop that off i'm not gonna have any hair so um just kind of winging it right now and letting it grow back out and then I'll chop again once it gets to a length where I'm okay with cutting it. I've got some bands right here. This just needs to go. But I really don't want my hair to be this short. I'm gonna bust out my curling wand or I could always just do like a... No, I'm gonna curl my hair. Hi guys, so um, I'm back to my old ways. I did not film an outro. I always do this, literally always. So I ended up... um getting fully ready and I had something scheduled so I had to do that I was actually late for it so but I did curl my hair it's still a little bit curly from when I did it not really it's just like a little bit wavy now I did all the stuff that I had on my schedule and then um I ended up feeling really 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 sick I had woke up feeling sick as well but like not as sick as I started feeling later in the day as I said in the beginning of my video my period was really bad this month and I also have like a little cold that I've been trying to get over. I don't know what ended up happening. I think I was just stressed out because I did have something to do that was stressing me out. And I just started feeling like really nauseous and like I was literally just laying in bed gagging. So that was really fun. I wasn't sick, like I didn't have a stomach virus. I have a cold and I just started feeling really sick. So I just didn't film an outro. It was really nice to like Put on makeup and feel pretty i ended up just wearing like a sweatshirt i didn't really do an outfit but i did feel pretty and it was nice i hadn't gotten myself ready like that and actually like paid attention to myself in a while so that was nice to do my retainer is still broken and my teeth have been hurting and it's been making it hard to eat i've been nauseous because it's hard to eat and so that's really cool i'm just really shout out god thanks for that just not doing great but that's me for this video. I really hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm so sorry I forgot to film the outro and everything. I just ended up feeling really, really sick and just spending the rest of the day in bed after I did all my stuff. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.